Okay, so we've looked at a few Faster Better Cheaper missions. Let's step back now and take a look at the larger Faster Better Cheaper portfolio. In the 1990s, NASA launched a total of 16 missions under the Faster Better Cheaper umbrella. They included five trips to Mars, four satellites, a trip to the moon, and, and a handful of other things. The total cost for all 16 missions was less than the Cassini mission to Saturn. Now, Cassini is a huge success. I'm a big fan of Cassini. They're doing some great work, producing some great science, and producing some great art. If you've seen the pictures coming back from Saturn, they're just breathtaking. But for the total amount of money that we spent on Cassini, NASA was able to deliver 16 other missions. In the first seven years, they launched 10 missions, of which nine succeeded. So that's a pretty impressive achievement. A seven-year time frame with a 90% success rate. Nobody saw that coming. In fact, NASA Administrator Dan Golden had said a 100% success rate would mean that NASA was failing, specifically failing to push the envelope enough. He expected, he even kind of demanded a certain degree of failure in these missions. He wanted to make sure that NASA really was taking chances and pushing the envelope and really stretching their skills to the utmost. Um, and so despite that, they still succeeded nine times out of 10. <laughs> now it's important to note that these missions were all unmanned missions. But it does seem that the principles and practices that were involved in these faster, better, cheaper successes could have been applied to manned missions without undue risk to human life. And it's not clear why they weren't. I think that might have been part of the plan eventually, once they proved out the methodology. The lesson here, the, the observation I want to make at this point, is simply that this approach, this high-speed, low-cost approach, where we focus on speed, thrift, and simplicity with short schedules, tight budgets, small teams, was actually less risky. It had a higher success rate in every dimension when compared with the expensive, slow approach. It allowed significant scientific rigor and achievement because of the speed, the thrift, and simplicity, not despite it.